In this video, we will discuss how to derive the area formula for a circle by integrating the formula for the circumference of a circle. Remember in an earlier video, we discovered how the derivative of the area formula for a circle is equal to two pi r, which is the circumference of a circle. And therefore, it should make sense if we integrate the circumference, we should be able to recover the formula for the area. To begin, we know the circumference of a circle equals two pi r, and the area equals pi r squared. If we differentiate a with respect to r, or find a prime of r, we apply the power rule of differentiation by multiplying by two and then subtracting one from the exponent, which gives us the a dr equals two pi r, which again is the circumference. If we write this in differential form by multiplying both sides by differential r, we have differential a, which represents the change in the area, is equal to two pi r times differential r, where differential r represents the change in the radius. Looking at the circle on the right, if we focus on this green ring, the thickness would be from a small change in r, and therefore the thickness is differential r. The area of this green ring would represent the change in the area with this small change in the radius. And the change in the area is represented by differential a. To find the area of the green ring, we find the circumference and then multiply by differential r shown here. Two pi r times differential r represents the area of the green ring, which is also the change in the area represented by differential a. So it should make sense if we wanted to determine the area of the circle, for each small change in the radius, we could determine the area of the resulting ring, and if we sum the areas of the rings as the radius increases, it will give us a total area. Let's look at an animation to better understand this. Again, if our goal is to determine the area of this red circle, we can determine the area by summing the areas of the rings as the radius increases. So if we start with this very small ring here with a small change in the radius, we determine this area, and then as the radius increases, we continue determining the area of the rings and then summing these areas, which will result in the total area of the circle. And now let's focus on the circle graphed on the coordinate plane. We will now call the thickness of each ring differential x or delta x. The sum of the areas of the rings with thickness delta x or differential x from x equals zero to x equals r gives the area of the circle. And now let's set this up using calculus notation. Let's first focus on this product here. We have two pi times c sub i times delta x. Each of these products represents the area of a ring with a small change in the radius, which now we denote using differential x or delta x, again because we are now on the coordinate plane. And c sub i is just some x value in each subinterval along the x-axis. So two pi times c sub i is a circumference times delta x, which is the thickness of the ring, gives us the area of the ring, and as we sum the areas of the rings, it will give us the area of the circle. As the number of rings approach infinity, we have the limit as n approaches infinity of the sum from i equals one to n of two pi times c sub i times delta x, which is equal to the definite integral from zero to r of two pi x differential x. Notice how the integrand function is a circumference given by two pi x. For the next step, let's factor out two pi. So we have the area equals two pi times integral from zero to r of x differential x, and now we integrate. Remember x is x to the first, so we add one to the exponent and then divide by two. And now we find big F of b minus big F of a. We first substitute r for x, which gives us r squared divided by two, and then we substitute zero for x, which gives us zero squared divided by two, and now we find the difference, but this is zero, giving us two pi times r squared divided by two, Simplifying two divided by two simplifies to one, and we do get the area equals pi r squared, which is the area formula for a circle. I hope you found this helpful.